We are with the Honourable Vice President of Zimbabwe and also the Minister of Health and Child Care this afternoon. Honourable Vice President, thank you for joining us. You are welcome, Ravenneko. <laughs> so I know I've read about how you felt, you know, after you got your first jab uh, of the Sinopharm vaccine. You've been leading from the front, which is very brave of you. And we honor you for doing that. Makati <laughs> Simbisa, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so how are you feeling now after your second jab? Mm. Um, I'm feeling great. Mm -hmm. You can see um, uh, I have been dispensing with my work. Yes. No problem at all. I've been traveling around. Yesterday I was in uh, Bindura, yeah. visiting the Bindura um, University of Science yeah. Education, yes. visiting our hospital, the Bindura you know, you know, hospital. Yeah. So, you know, it was soon after I had got my job. Mm -hmm. I don't, I didn't feel anything. Kind of I, don't was feel, the I don't feel anything. But you're a strong man, you know. There's, there's women like us. <laughs> you know. So nothing no, at all. No, 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 mm. no. Those are perceptions. Yeah. You yeah. know, perceptions are very, um, you know, difficult sometimes to, you know, to go around them. Mm. Because people discuss. Yeah. And some who have got um, very little knowledge. Mm. Uh, but they have got quite convincing voices yeah. and they take people astray. Mm -hmm. There is nothing. You were given when you were a baby, mm -hmm. uh, you, know, you know, those vaccines, yes. either against polio, yeah. you know, or against measles. Mm -hmm. And it is, and if those vaccines were even terrible. Mm -hmm. I remember I had a wound, you know, when I was a young <laughs> Uh, boy, we call it the yeah. Zimbabwean footprint, yeah. the BCG. Yeah, the BCG. <laughs> yes. But uh, this one, you don't get anything. Mm. It's um, you don't even some you know you know feel the prick. Yes. I didn't feel the prick myself yes. personally, yes. and so you know the vaccine you know you know, uh, you know is good. Mm. You feel good. Good. And I'm feeling good. Yeah. Do you feel uh, immune now? Because that's um, another misconception that people have, that once you've been vaccinated, no, you must now feel, but, uh, walk around. But, you, you, know? Know, the, this, hmm. um, you know, this, you know, our medical expertise hmm. will tell you, hmm. just like any vaccine, um, when you get your first jab, yes. depending whether you're getting the first or you're getting two jabs of the same vaccine, you must give it time for your body to build the antibodies. Right. Right. It is not just as automatic as that. Mm. The body must start to interrogate to say, who is this fellow who has visited us? Yes. And then they start and then, you know, you know, all the, the process starts. Mm. Mm. So like this vaccine, why, you know, um, you know, you know, from our you know medical experts, why we are getting the two jabs? Mm. The first is to prepare the body. Right. The second job is to make sure yeah, is mm. to make sure that you know you know you know the all the systems are now up. Mm. I will be up jumping you know it come April. Mm. I know my antibodies would have been now in place. Yes. Now if I have to get you know you know you know if uh, this fellow is going to visit me is going to get um, you know a real left you know jab you know <laughs> and a hook and, and a hook and an uppercut and, and an upper, <laughs> ah, yeah it will be terrible game over yeah, yeah game over more broadly do you feel that the public sector is ready for the anticipated third wave people are talking about the third wave it might visit us it might not visit us but as long as we follow the who guidelines mm -hmm. And those guidelines we are giving as Minister of uh, Health and Child Care, they, we, we might avert. Mm -hmm. That is, if the third wave, you know, wave is, is coming. Sure. But also, the third wave can also be averted. Mm -hmm. If all the people whom we are lining up in our rollout program mm -hmm. to say, your time is now your time to get a, vac you know, a vaccine, go. If they cooperate, and if you, do you know, what they you know, yeah. we we want everyone to cooperate. Yes, and I must hasten to say that this, you know, at this juncture, that um, if you watch both electronic, print, mm. you know, you are you are now getting, you know, uh, these discussions mm -hmm. uh, in all capitals mm. about the vaccination passport. Yes. 
no one wants to you know to 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 be infected by someone who is choosing otherwise mm. and neither does one wish to uh, you know to affect other innocent sure. you know you know you know souls mm. so eventually this is going to happen in my own opinion it's not there's not you know there's no going back on this and it should be capitals. something we should all strive to and have and we mm. must strive and we mm. are saying it is in your interest yeah. to get a job mm. we are not only saying we are giving you know this for free but the you know the government is very cognizant mm. that this is a pandemic yeah. and a pandemic and you know you know what people don't sometimes quickly understand mm. is that there is no prayer after death mm. or you cannot say when you are gone now I, I will come back mm. we don't you know we are gone we are gone sure. So prevention is better than cure. Absolutely. See why I ask this as well is because of um you know the the expense. The first and second wave ushered in high expenses for people because a lot of the private sector facilities were the ones that were treating people. And the affordability for the average Zimbabwean you can imagine was a nightmare where some beds were averaging at a minimum of about 2500 US dollars as a deposit. So I don't know your thoughts on that with managing the private sector and the pricing because if this third wave does come as you said it may it may not what then happens to to the pricing? I was saying mm. it might it might not. Yeah. Yeah. You know like in our in our case when we had what we called the second wave yes, in December. Mm. In December. You must also remember one thing. Mm. People had relaxed. They thought this disease this virus is gone mm. just imagine the gigi at mbare <laughs> yes. where we then got the super spreaders yes. people were crossing borders we really they were parting mm. people forgot to put on their masks mm. It's basic hygienic standards mm. social distancing mm. All those things were completely ignored mm. and we were attacked. Mm. And so if it attacks one person in a family, that family, I know of families where they lost two, three, four time. people, yeah. you know, one after another. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. It is because it has come from one member of the family. Or you go for you know for you know you know for a social event mm. and then you go and you spread it to all your friends mm. when you when you you know you know you know um, separate all those people are also going to be spreading wherever they will wherever be going they are, so one would they now say was it in real terms the second wave mm. or it was our own creation creation mm. so we need to be very careful sure but and take responsibility and we must take mm. responsibility mm. but now then coming to um, you know the issue which you have raised people should not take advantage that there is when in fact what we should be doing mm. is that when the is a, you know you know you know um, a, you know a breakout like that yes. people should be you know able to reduce mm. our practitioners whether it is in private whether it is in public mm. hospital we should be able to make medicines available not to look for super profits mm. but how do we manage that uh, dr no Trump? we mm. the medicines council yeah. we have uh, already started now Good. i've already you know you know you know said our you know the chairman and his and um, and the team mm. the chairperson and the team must sit down mm. and bring sanity yes. or otherwise we don't want to take punitive measures yes. we believe that when we we should talk to each other mm and say this is not right sure because people really um, capitalize yeah. that season yeah. and so we, you know you know people you know we, 
they can also spread rumors because they it's when one thinks about business and not saving people that's another different that's matter altogether yes. we lose the you know direction but we are discussing this matter uh, very seriously mm. uh, within the ministry okay. and within our um, uh, you know you know various councils and we want to have this matter resolved quietly yeah. Yeah. there is no need to say you have bought you know a packet of you know tablets mm. hypothetically it's 7 dollars mm. or 6 dollars you add another zero mm. or two zeros mm -hmm. and make <laughs> then mm. what are you doing mm. Um, we talked about the vaccine for um, frontline workers, especially in the healthcare sector. But of course, it must be still supported by PPE. Is are there ways that young people can enter this market instead of us importing all the PPE? Maybe finding ways that we can start commercializing. Quite correct. Mm. I think, uh, Ruvenego, you might have realized. Um, first, let me say, yesterday when I went to Bindura, mm. I went to see. the projects which are being done by, by the Bindura the University mm. by the students mm. one of the projects they are manufacturing PPEs wow. i was with the permanent secretary yeah. and our um, um, even our employers from the health services you know mm. services board and our staff mm. we were all impressed wow. they make a whole range mm. from sanitize you know from sanitizers to masks to gloves to masks mm. to gloves to those plastic to plastic suits. you know you yeah. know you know to even disposables yeah washables yes and you know face you know shield mm. we, we don't have to import anything mm. everything can be made here mm. or what is required is for people to get organized yes and get into teams mm. as individuals we cannot produce anything hakuru wakati chara chimo achichwanya inda zvoda zviri yeah so this is where we 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 say we want to encourage our uh, our youth mm. our people women yes. and you know all the you know you know college university leavers If it's a student project how can we help them in terms Now, of funding and like, up? Mm. like at the universities his excellency the president you know with his new trust mm -hmm. that we cannot just produce mm. you know you know people for job markets mm -hmm. but they must be creators of jobs of jobs <laughs> So when the now it uh, Bindura I think I don't know how many patents they have mm. they have now so several patents right which they are doing across mm. not only talking about the health mm. issues mm. but various other you know you know you know area I was innovations mm. I was so impressed when I got there I never thought could ah tinga muno mutinga gadzirewo you know you know you know and this, you know snake yeah. venom mm. for the black mamba for wow. the puffada wow and we just still in snake season yes. that's amazing yeah we need it and when the rains come know, the snakes this, come um, up you know yeah. you know uh, after the rains yeah. and after the winter mm. the the snakes will be running havoc oh definitely yeah, yeah. but you know all these things are coming Very and it's the zimbabweans yeah. who are making them Good. Mm -hmm. I think that I like and that you so talked about patents. And so when they mm -hmm. leave there mm -hmm. it is their patent. They are now going into the industry mm -hmm. to you know to join or form mm -hmm. you know create their own Proper industry. And industry. Create their own pharmaceutical industry mm -hmm. and make their own you know you know you know vaccines or drugs or what you know whatever and that is and we we all you know his excellence mm -hmm. his foresight was and yet it was 2020 happened. they normally say hindsight is 2020 but and his foresight it yeah. takes only a few dollars mm. to do that yeah. 
In terms of mental health, uh, Dr. Chuenga, this is something that we don't discuss because sometimes they're called soft issues. Mm -hmm. But now we've got a generation after generation and generation, especially children that have missed school for almost a year. Mm -hmm. You know, parents that have had to cope with children in a way that they've never had to before. Imagine mm better -hmm. can for grade grade two, we grade seven, we form four. You know, so in terms of mental health, what are we doing about that as a thrust to make sure that we're not ending up with a broken generation after this pandemic? True, we will have to devise, um, and it's not only going you know, to, to devise strategies mm -hmm. on how to uh, cope up mm -hmm. with what we have lost because of this pandemic. Mm -hmm. I'll give you, a, you know, an example. Our liberation struggle mm -hmm. took a lot of young boys and girls to go out to the struggle. Yeah. And they came back in 1980. Some had only, you know, uh, primary education. Mm -hmm. Some had just literally, you know, you know, you know, the first, you know, you know, one year or two years at secondary education. Very few had done, um, you know, you know, you know, you know uh, uh, were into the yeah, higher, advanced, yeah. anything into uh, advanced, or who, were, were, who had visited colleges mm -hmm. before they mm -hmm. went to the struggle. Mm -hmm. So, night schools were created right. to cope. And you find, you know, every ministry, people were, go were working, you know, you know, during the day. At night, they were going to night schools. Mm. And we coped. Mm. All the doctors now we are talking about today, they went for night school. Did you go for night school? Of course, I had to go for night yeah. school. Remember when I went to the struggle, mm. I was just doing my Form 3. Mm. And we were... We, we, um, we were almost, we were doing, you know, we were going into the third term mm. and then we left for the struggle. Mm. So we had to come, mm. do the, you know, you know, you know, you know, evening, you know, you know, you know classes mm. and do a lot of, um, you know, you know, your education through mm. correspondences mm. and you catch up. Mm. This is going to be painful, not only to one family, mm. but to the entire country. Of and... Ministry of Education will look into this matter. Mm. How we can bring that time lost. Yes, that those that have been left behind. Yeah, those who might have been left. And mm. this is why if you have um, listened to cabinet um, you know, briefings, mm. you might have seen now that there is now a, um, a spirited effort to have all schools digital. digital. Mm connected to internet mm. and the minister of ICT mm. is working a uh, flat board. out mm. Muskere, mm. together with the minister of primary and secondary education sure. to make sure that every school in Zimbabwe is connected mm. so if there is a problem at least anything. in their own localities mm. they must have some place where they can go and access sure. their educational sure. Sure. Um, you know sure. requirements yeah yeah, yeah. So just but i am mm. you know you know you are quite right but this is like a war mm. during the it world war, war what what happened mm. when people were being bombed of course people did not you know forgot about going to school true you know you couldn't but after that what then do you do yeah you make up for lost time. Like you make saying. up for the lost yeah. time. Yeah. And this is, why we, this is where we want the effort of everyone. Yeah. From not only parents, not only the government, but mm. everyone. Sure. Who sure. can put an effort to correct that, this situation. Yeah. Um, and any ideas will be uh, welcome. most welcome. Sure. And Dr. Chuenga, you had personal losses, you know, in your family as well as your colleagues that we all know, um, you know, the late S.B. Moyo, the late General Zimondi. How do you grieve? Uh, they give me courage. Mm. And you know all of them. The most unfortunate, you know, uh, whether one who call it unfortunate or fortunate. 
I, you know, I had discussions or we shared, you know, a meal before I lost them. Mm. Wow. Or we talked. You can start from Air Chief Marshal, mm. Shiri. Mm. We spoke and almost close to almost an hour we were talking mm. and we ended up talking about our days, you know, at school. You know, right up to, you know, past going to, to, you know, to 10. And on that fateful day, I just put on my phone on the, on the, on, on the bed mm. and then I just slept. Mm. Three, past the three, the CDF phones me, Commander Defense Forces, and I'm trying to find where my phone is. Mm. Eventually I get it and I see it's Janos Banda, he says, uh, I, have no, I have no good news, mm. ah, but I didn't expect anything. I said, ah, is there some accident? What is it? Mm. What has happened? Mm. So I said, and I was, uh, you know, you know, going clinging to my, to my, you know, <laughs> to my, to my, you know, to my bed, you know, to, and I said, what is it? Since we've lost a chief marshal, just like that. And I look at the phone, he is now, uh, the one I'm talking to is the, you know, but the last person I spoke to was, was the him. chief marshal. I can't and believe that. And you never know when the yeah. last time you'll speak it to someone It was also is. with SP, you know, yeah. we did, we had, we had to, talking, you know. In the afternoon I said, ah, no, don't go to work, you know, you know, you know, you know, um, you, 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 you know, you, you can, you know, there the is this spike. Yeah. And we're talking, says, ah, oh, what are you talking about? I'm fine. Okay. I'm just, I'm just, you know, you know, having my meal, and you know, I'm, it's, it's okay. Now, this is in the afternoon. Late in the, you know, you know, you know, it, it was late, just about into the, That's you know, in into the, the afternoon. Mm. No, into the afternoon. Oh, okay. mm. But late in the afternoon, mm. he, he goes to hospital, and. In the morning, three in the morning, somebody wakes me up who have lost him. So, Jenna's Monday, it was the same. Yeah. That must have but been so scary I was, to you. Yeah. But it, it gives us, <sighs> um, it gives us the courage mm -hmm. that uh, maybe, you know, everybody will have his or her own time will come. Mm. But uh, I had not expected to lose such great friends. Of course. You know, and they are friends this, to you. You know, people read this, this and, and they look at you and think you're so mm. strong and that you don't even cry. No, you know, people I, actually think I'm we too grieve. Tim. You grieve. Tino Chema. <laughs> Tino yeah, Chema. Yeah. But we grieve, but mm. we understand that, um, uh, okay, this has happened. Mm. And all you can only do is to say, God, give me Protect strength me and courage. To accept the reality. This is now the reality. I can't reverse it. Mm. And no one can reverse it. Mm. So, what is it that God wants us to do? Yeah. I'm sure you and thought at some point I might mm. be next because they're so close to you and you thought I was yeah, just with them. But I, you know, what the is more now important is for, for me to make sure that all other colleagues and all Zimbabweans are safe, are safe. Yeah. and we will continue to look for everything. Mm. That will protect the people of Zimbabwe. Perfect. What happens when private sector starts bringing in their own vaccines? Will you emphasize them to keep them free? No. Or it will now be up to them? We have um, already given uh, guidelines mm -hmm. and you know, procedures yes. which will be followed okay. in Fair the enough. procurement. Okay. Nobody in the country mm. will go and buy a COVID-19 vaccine. It'll be free. Mm. Yeah. But besides that, every vaccine to do with COVID-19, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, disease yes. is going to be offered free to every Zimbabwean. Good. Good. So no one is going to make a single cent out of the COVID-19. Yeah. This is why we are saying they when even if you go and buy mm. you are, you buy them through government, yeah. they will be kept at the 
gov central government stores, okay. the, the cold chain. Right. And when you are, you, you say, ah, me, you know, I have got uh, my workers whom I, uh, I, have, I want, um, you know, vaccinated. Mm -hmm. We say, fine, we'll give you the stuff from the Minister of uh, Health. Yes. We will make sure that you have taken 10 vial, you know, you know, you know, doses. Yes. They have people. been applied yes. for to the, they will be there. Yes. And we are the only ones who will give the certificate. Mm -hmm. Remember that yes, certificate that we want to put in our passport yes. is going to be, you know, it's going to be another passport. Yes. Yeah. When you go to the restaurant, you shall be able Check. to produce. And when we come to the and Ministry of Health, we, we can the produce minister, it. You can produce <laughs> yes. To say, you know, yes, you know I'm okay. Yeah, I'm I was okay. checked. Yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, you know, you know, everybody will be free. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. No, um, Honourable Vice President, thank you so much. Um, I'll ask you to give your solidarity message to our WHO colleagues, our Russian friends, our Chinese friends who've supported our cause so far. Sure. You know, when um, this pandemic visited us, WHO was the first to give the guidelines and also to mobilize everybody in the world to assist those who could not meet up. Because most of the people globally were visited unaware, including us. Mm -hmm. So we got a, a lot of support mm -hmm. from the efforts which the uh, um, World Health Organization you know, did. So we are very grateful to them with the People's Republic of China. Even if they were also affected, but they also thought of others. Mm. And they gave us, they were the first, as you know, yeah. to give us PPEs. Mm. They were there to give us, you know, all you know, uh, uh, the equipment, the small gadgets we started using mm. to test for the COVID-19. But more importantly, they send their professionals, their experts, doctors, whom we, who fought, you know, uh, fought this pandemic together with our oh, medical staff sure. here. So we are very, very grateful to them. Mm. And we've got the second donation all these donations given through His Excellency the President, mm -hmm. who is uh, through his uh, engagement and re-engagement policy, has made these thing you know, possible. this possible. Sure. And our friendship has gone from strength to strength. Okay. And for India, they were also very, you know handy mm -hmm. in giving us PPEs, mm -hmm. in giving us drugs, mm -hmm. medicines to alleviate the challenges which we were having. But having done that, they also gave us the 75,000 doses of Covaxin. Co mm -hmm. We are already working with them to get, because this is the correct, these are the, you know, the vaccines um, which are attenuated or inactivated, mm -hmm. which we want in this country to give. And so we are working with them for the procurement so that um, we get the not only the 60 percent but over 60 percent head immunity mm -hmm. and then we are sure that um, you know the, our nation is safe so they have um, done a lot over and above yeah, yeah. and the russian federation mm -hmm. They have done great. Yeah. They sent all the, the you know, all the way their aircraft from Moscow mm -hmm. with PPEs mm -hmm. and drugs yes. to fight this COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Very few. These countries have stood by with us. us. Mm -hmm. They've stood by us. Mm -hmm. And we shall always be indebted to them. I was going to and say, one day we have to return. Mm. One day we will, will return. Maybe yeah. one day we shall also make something which they would require. Yes. 
in the in the medical field yes. and we will not forget them yes. there is also another great country which we had forgotten which have stood with us cuba ah. they've always been friends of zimbabwe and the medical don't forget fraternity. that we have got the cuban doctors yes, here yes for years don't forget yeah. that they gave us interferon yeah and we are doing quite a lot in the medical field mm -hmm. with them and they are also doing quite a lot with our um, universities mm -hmm. and so they've played a major major role mm -hmm. and they have just now ro or, you know rolled out their own vaccine yeah. No, we, we so, see the work you're doing. Um, one of yeah. the opposition uh, health secretaries, uh, mm. Dr. Henry Mazzorera, sure. said uh, the other day that uh, he thinks that we have survived the COVID, vaccine, um, the COVID wave well, mm -hmm. but not by any hand or act of government, but mm. by an act of God. <laughs> yes. Mm. Um, true, God gave us the brains mm. to do what we are doing. <laughs> I like that. But, um, to apply. Mm. But don't forget mm. that also God helps those who are making an effort to help themselves. themselves. Sure. So we are doing what we are doing and the Almighty comes handy to prepare us to achieve yeah. what we wanted to achieve. So everything, yes, true. It's through the power of God, mm. but God would also want to see the effort we put. Yeah, because everything is created by God, don't forget. Mm. We will give you the example of a lion. Mm. If you kneel and you start praying to God to say, God, you know, I go to church every day mm. and I'm your child mm. and I'm, I have not done anything wrong. Mm. And you kneel and you start praying. But don't forget the lion was also created by God. And prayed for a meal. And that prayed day. for a meal that day. <laughs> so it will come and it will also go to God said, God, you are great. You, you have to help me. It works both ways, I hear you. Uh, Honorable Vice President, it's a Friday evening. Um, as we social distance and physical distance, what do you do during this lockdown when you go home? What do you do with your life on the weekend? Uh, now I'm going, I'm, 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 I'm trying to write another book. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> That's got to keep you busy. The whole weekend. Yeah. No, Socially, do you no. play golf? I don't, don't know. You uh, are forgetting uh, that um, we we have got um, you know I know I you know I you know I oversee you know also agriculture, yeah. and um, myself and uh, Dr. Masuka, yeah. we must make sure that the Pumvudza program left by Air Chief Marshal you continues. know Shir continues. Yeah. And we are now, I will also be going to my small field oh. and uh, to my farm to see oh. how the cops will be doing, you know, how they how So they basically will be you're working. You're leaving I'll the office to go to work on the weekend. Yeah, I will, I will go. Dr. I will go. You know, I'll getting go older, guy, you need to find some things. Do you listen to music? Do you relax? You know, dance? It's good, <laughs> but if we leave you in <laughs> poverty, yeah. Who kiss us? No, we, <laughs> no, we appreciate your hard yes. work. We yes. really do, um, but really do also hope you take some time to breathe. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you, you very, very much. So, uh, when, you know, you know the, yeah. this time we are ripping tobacco. Yes. I would want to invite you to come and, um, you know, oh, rip nice. tobacco. I've never ripped tobacco in my life. I'd love to do I that. I will teach you. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to that. I really do. No tools at Norway. Thank you. And it's got my time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Vaccination or not, conspiracy or not, third wave or not, either way, wash your hands, sanitize, maintain social distancing, maintain physical distancing. This is the correct way up to wear your mask. There's white boning on the top to protect you. Clip it on and clip it in. 